Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Woo-hoo. How y'all doing? Hey, each and every one of y'all, I want to thank you for being out there. Let me do this first and foremost. Um, thank you for being, listening to my content. I really appreciate it. Uh, I love um, every one of you, whether it's five of you, whether it's 20 of you, I appreciate it because I know somebody uh, feels the same way I feel and I don't have to feel like I'm just totally crazy. I know I'm a little crazy like we all are, but I want to know just how crazy I am. And so there are times I just sit back and I think about stuff and I'm sure y'all do the same thing. We're all human beings. And I challenge the concept of heaven and hell. And if we have to die before we experience heaven and hell. Uh, and I think the concept of hell, if you really think about it, y'all, really think about it with your intelligence, and not your Alice in Wonderland and um, Santa Claus and the fairy godmother. If you stop, if you get about that mindset that somebody created for you, and you really think about the concept of heaven and hell, how in the hell can you walk the streets when it's supposed to be seven times hotter than the damn stove? Oops. Oops, oops. Let me calm down. And these are the things that we need to examine as thinking individuals, right? Heaven and hell is how you live in. Either you living in hell or you living in heaven or as close as you can get to it. I mean, there are some people right now that, in live, that are living in pure heaven. Okay, they don't, and they don't, and for them it's okay. They don't have to think about our poor asses. Okay, now it, that's an emotional issue. You got it as, um, but that's why there's some a scripture I think that says, "Don't make me too rich that I won't be able to see something, or don't make me too poor that I have to steal." So, you know, LeBron James and those NBA players are living a life, for the most part, financially, is heaven, okay? They don't have to worry about paying their bills and getting their lights shut off and get because there are some circumstances that we have in life that are pure hell. When you broke, honestly, and don't let nobody fool you and say, oh, money ain't everything. No, it's not, but you're living in a capitalist society. When money is a lot, it's the difference between you being on skid row and people pissing on you and living in a tent that eventually fucks your mindset up so damn bad that it's hell. That's the epitome of hell. Anybody that's there because they get locked into a way of living. Oh, come on in here, somebody. Y'all don't want to hear. You get locked into a mindset. Okay? It's easy for all of us to do. But that's pure hell when you're living like that. And don't let nobody convince you that you have to die and go down in the ground. Because I want all of you under the sound of my voice to get out there and go lay down on the sidewalk. And unless it's 90 degrees on top of the earth, tell me when you take your shoes off, do you feel it hotter than that? Because it, 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 that is not how any of this works. Our houses would be melted there will be nothing that could sit on top of the earth. 
and then we put people in the ground and wait for their resurrection when they should be burnt up. Okay, oh, we got to think, people. We have to think. And these are the same people that gave us Superman. These are the same. They gave us um, fairy tales and nursery crimes. Nursery crimes, people. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful to anybody. But I want you, I want us to just use some analytical thinking here. Some rationale. So, even when I look at, um, you know, like I said, people's situations and how they live in, some of it is just complete hell. And we have to re-examine our concept of heaven and hell. Because you don't have to wait till you die to go there. Okay? And unless something changed for... Um, everybody can't go to college. So unless something changed for those who don't and haven't... They have to be on the same playing field as their white counterpart. That haven't went to college. You can't have no white high school a, a diploma dude or without a diploma making more than a black man with a bachelor's degree. You can't do that. You know, that that's, that's got to be replaced. That type of system that would allow that to happen has got to be replaced with a system of equality. And I want to know how many of y'all understand what I'm saying. And if you think... That that's important. They let let it be known. Let it be known. I want to hear what you think about it. I really do. So with that being said, y'all, look, I'm gonna get off off my rant today. Heaven and hell. Which one? I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>